you know, mobility solutions industry is going through very interesting times and extremely rapid changes are happening. So how do you see this industry evolving in the next four to five years? What do you think are the key areas that, you know, will probably be the very interesting areas for Mahindra Conviva? Uh, so Mahindra Conviva as a company, we focus more on the value added services uh, sector and the mobile financial sector, the content and uh, digital space. So if you see, uh, I would say maybe a few years back for a service provider or a content provider or a VAS provider, the only medium to reach end subscribers was the mobile operators. Today the situation has completely changed. There are uh, app stores, if you, if you will, from the Googles and Apples and Nokias and Samsungs and everybody. So the service provider uh, today uh, uses the app stores for uh, launching their services, marketing them. Uh, you see the payments space that has also changed a lot. So even uh, the service providers can do a direct billing of their end subscribers today. So uh, the relevance of a mobile operator is really diminishing. He's just becoming a pipe, a pipe provider. So that's uh, that's a huge change that I see. Five years, ten years from now, maybe we'll have a seamless phone. Apple has already patented their technology of a seamless phone. So you might not need a mobile operator to communicate. You may go to a shop, buy an Apple phone or a Google phone, and then connect to any operator you want, like what we do with the Wi-Fi, for example, today. So probably that's where the world is moving towards. And how do you think that will change the dynamics of the industry? So I think uh, today, from a Conviva's perspective, we are very too much dependent on an operator for our business. All our businesses uh, are towards operators. So probably the scenario will change and companies like us will start moving to a D2C model where we directly serve the consumer because we don't need an operator anymore other than uh, the pipe that he provides. So when you say serve the consumer, what kind of offerings do you, will you take to the consumer? So we've already started doing that. Uh, so we have something called a Moodit service which is running in uh, Nigeria. It's a music portal which is a D2C service that we have launched. We have something called Zoto which is a which is again launched in uh, Nigeria with a mobile money kind of a service where a uh, subscriber can directly recharge without an operator being there. So any subscriber of any operator can use our service. Are the competitors of Mahindra Combi also doing the same thing? A lot of them. You can see Paytm in India, for example. They are uh, providing recharge services and wallet services without any operator being there uh, in between. So in your sphere of work, uh, specifically, uh, what are the changes that you see, foresee? So one is... Uh, the over dependence on operator is becoming an issue. So we need to look at more revenue. So today we have uh, mobile wallets, for example, we work with retailers. We are tying up with a lot of banks for providing mobile banking and mobile wallet services. So we are also slowly drifting away from the operator driven or operator controlled world and moving towards other verticals or other enterprises. So the reality and the future, there is a distance that the company has to traverse. So in that journey, what are the potential challenges that you foresee? So one is uh, we need to be flexible enough to bridge that gap and nimble enough to bridge that gap because the you mentioned at the beginning the consumer behavior is changing so rapidly. It's, it's dynamic. Maybe every second there is a difference in behavior. The consumer is well informed. He knows what he wants. So unless the organization is uh, fast enough or flexible enough to reach there or keep pace with that dynamic uh, consumer behavior, will not be able to survive. In terms of, uh, you know, a few ideas that you want to carry on, uh, new ideas that you uh, you believe in, uh, which will work in this new uh, tomorrow, you know, what, what, what would you focus on? One of the focus areas definitely will be enterprises. We can provide them access to the operators, subscribers through the mo mobility uh, space. They will be more than willing to come and take that as a challenge. So the operators and enterprises are uh, creating a lot of interesting uh, partnerships today. So that is one area which we are uh, s starting to focus on. How does the organization go about breaking the uh, umbilical cord connection to telecom service providers? Difficult. <laughs> so we have been, uh, so maybe last 17 years we have been working uh, with uh, mobile operators. It's, it's a bit challenging and difficult because we have been used to a particular way of uh, working with operators. So what will, what, what will it take for us as an organization? I mean, one thing is about flexibility and agility to adapt, which you said. But as an organization, what, what should we do? Do we get people from outside the industry? How does it happen? How does this change happen? Yeah. So we do that. So if you uh, 
look at our mobile financial space, for example, the payment space. So Comviva as an organization was a very telecom oriented organization. We were, uh, we were not a banking or a financial specialist organization. So uh, during the initial days, we found it very difficult for the telecom engineers to actually run the show of mobile financial or the payment space. So we actually hired people from banks. They, were, they had no telecom background, but they knew the, the payment space. They knew the banking space. So we actually hired people from banks and brought them here. And we married the telecom and the payment space. So similarly, you have to bring people from the retail space? Uh, we have not yet done that, but we are seriously looking at uh, having more engagement with people from the retail space. Because unless you understand that vertical, it's difficult to serve them.